Two, one, two, one, two. Are you good? Yeah. Just be on this side of the speaker. How's everybody doing? Good. I hope you're angry. I'm super honored to be here and super grateful to Yasmin and Samaya. Uh, a lot of this work is done by the black women and femmes who often put their bodies and lives on the line every day. So I give my gratitude to them. Can we get a round for them, please? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Shanice Nicole. Um, that's like my stage name. Um, but I'm a, a spoken word artist in Montreal. And I started writing poetry in 2015 um, in the summer, and, and it's really just been something that I've really used as a form of healing and resistance and resilience as well. So I'm going to be sharing three pieces with you today um, that I've written, seeing lots of familiar faces, giving me a lot of courage. Um, so the first piece, okay, sorry, I just changed the order. Okay, the first piece. <laughs> Uh, is called hashtag which black lives matter um, and it's gonna kind of like I think it follows nicely after what Robin was talking about in terms of who we show up for and who we stand up for so can everyone hear me okay, yeah. Yeah. okay great. don't say black lives matter unless you mean all of them Otherwise, you become part of the problem if you're gonna pick and choose whose life is more worthy, it ain't up to you. Don't say black lives matter unless you mean all of them. Every black life, every single last one, one people, one community, one race. And no, not the humankind, don't be fucking whack right now. I'm talking black, talking back with my middle fingers high, in the sky pointing them at anyone who tries to deny any black life. As I stand here beside with my eyes, ears, heart, mind open wide, ready to unlearn. And then ready to learn, ready to teach, ready to listen, ready to preach. Because when lives have been breached, sucked dry and dead like a hungry leech, we each have a responsibility to speak up, to speak out, to fight for, to fight about this drought that will kill us this drought that is killing us, this drought of justice, this drought of peace, but still no drought of racist ass police. And even though it may seem like we are drowning in reality, this is a drought, just a different type of suffering. Our parched throats beg for the empty taste of water on our tongues, just a sip we plead as we cry out from our lungs, because water is life and life is water, so without it we have none. But some of us have some. Some of us have bottles full and taps that run, yet some of us are thirsty as if lost into the desert sun, so when you say black lives matter, tell me which ones. Because if it's only cis, straight, slim, pretty boys and girls who look like me with access to money and no disabilities and just the right dosage of respectability, you tell me which ones. Don't say black lives matter unless you mean all of them. The trans ones, the queer ones, the fat ones, the unattractive ones, yes, beauty privilege is real. The poor ones, the disabled ones, the ones considered less than ideal. I need you to feel, I need you to feast on these words as if they are your last meal. All of us or none of us. Not one, not some. All of us or none of us to fight back and overcome. All of us or none of us. This is the only deal. All of us or none of us. This is how we heal. 
all of us or none of us, together as one, all of us or none of us, to fight back and say we won. All of us or none of us is exactly what I mean. So until all of us no longer thirst to be free, none of us anywhere ever will be. Thank you. Yes, girl. <laughs> The second piece is called uh, Dear Respectability Politics. And it's a little breakup letter that I wrote to this thing called Respectability Politics. If you don't know what it is, Google's great. <laughs> we don't have time, so I'm gonna get into it. Dear Respectability Politics. I don't know how else to say this other than fuck off and fuck you. Yeah. Yes, the two, both of them, because you are no longer welcome, not here, not with me, not in my space, not in my body. But I'm not silly. I know how respectability politics works, how it exists, how it hurts like a relentless disease and an attempt to seize, eating away like a parasite in my brain without my okay, chewing and spitting out my remains day by day never free from its rabid bite, just like that bitch called white supremacy. Yeah. Yes, it's one of those, so now's the time if you want to go. I mean, everyone who wants to be here, but usually I'm not a black eyes radical. Sorry, it's okay, I'll wait. No? Okay, great, stay. So, as I was saying, I know how you operate respectability politics, and as much as I want you out of my life, you're like a nine-inch knife wedged into my spine, making a home in between bone and flesh, again without my consent, but still you are there. Deep enough to hurt, but not quite deep enough to kill, but oh how you fill up my life with your shit, respectability politics. You invade my mind and the way I think, you invade my mouth and the way I speak, you invade my eyes and the way I see, you invade my body and you haven't paid the fee. I am not free and I do not come cheap, so pay up or leave politics of respectability. Because I no longer want to be touched or controlled by your dirty finger dangling me by a string tied around my neck. Dance, puppet, dance. Because I no longer want to conform to this norm this world has created that has whiteness situated nearest to the heavens, closest to perfection. So we choose this direction, thinking we're investing in a life worthy of protection, except we are forgetting this thing called our black skin with deep pigmented melanin. In this color, we are wearing rich and strong and powerful enough to instill fear in the ones without. And so they look at us with doubt because they don't know our next move. They don't know what we're going to do when we all stand up and say screw you to the politics of respectability that keep us rooted in forms of slavery, but it's a trap. Because we do it to survive, and without it we can't thrive. But with it we're enslaved in both body and mind, because even though this world was built on our spines, it was not built for our kind. This world is not mine. This world is not ours. You see, respectability politics wants us to lose under the illusion of winning, so it keeps the noose around our neck loose enough for us to forget that it's there. And thus we dance like puppets, while the puppet massa, I mean master, orders faster, faster, so we speed up, always trying to keep up, working twice as hard just to be enough, so we speed up. We speed through these roads thinking they're gonna go to the promised land, thinking that at the end there's something better than the current hand we've been dealt as if a new set of cards will help. But the problem with illusions is that they lead to confusion. Because this whole time you've been cruising thinking that if you play your cards right, eventually you'll see the light at the end of the dark tunnel visions got you tripping. Because you've forgotten about that black skin. Thinking that you can actually win in a world in which you're destined to fail. To never set sail. To always trail three steps behind and half a step forward at best and call that shit progress. Fuck that mess. So what's next? How do we survive when we've been told we are less? How do we survive under all this distress, this duress? We cannot wait for them to confess all the ways they've transgressed. Our patience has run out more or less. This is not fucking chess. So let me get this off my chest. First step. Take that rope 
and unwrap it from your neck. Followed by step two, take a deep breath and say fuck you to the politics of respectability that would rather see you white or dead than black and free. Thank you. This is uh, the third and final one, and this is like the first one that I ever wrote, so it's really, it's my baby. And it's called Black, surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. Black like this skin I call home, black like this melanin that's deep in my bones, black like these kinky roots whose ends are sown, planted into the earth where my ancestors are buried, feeding me with the strength, the bravery, the fury to be black, to know black, to honor black, to need black, to fuck black, to birth black, to fight for black, to fight back, to fight back for these black bodies. We own black like these black bodies. You adore bodies you want and want to pay for, but uh, reparations? Anyone? Nah, these lips and hips and ass and thighs, you get to be first prize while we are despised for everything we are and everything you aspire to be. Black like this cock you love so, but not the history that comes with it. You're quick to spit, but never want to swallow the history, the truth, the pain, the sorrow, the trauma of 500 years and counting because this shit won't end tomorrow. You hate and take and debate about race like it's fate, like this is the way it's supposed to be. Like black bodies are supposed to bleed out on the floor after being shot by cops for no other reason than that they were black. Cause didn't you know being black is a crime cause you can fill a body with lead and instead walk free not guilty and call that shit your duty? All in the name of protecting when we need the protection from these systems called oppression. And like Maya, still we keep trying to rise but the soles of your feet are digging into our backs and then you tell us to relax and get used to the weight as if centuries isn't long enough? to be waiting to live, to live free, to know free, to be black unapologetically, black like me, black like you, black like us. Thank you. a little bit more chanting because you know it was kind of dismal last time I wasn't that impressed. Okay. Black lives matter! 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 Black lives Hey, give it up for Shumaya and Yasmin who organized this activity, everybody. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Shizimba. Uh, I'm an MC, beat maker, and now I uh, speak at events, so it's really great. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming in solidarity with Toronto. Uh, Black Lives Matter Toronto, you know, Black Lives Matter in the States, everywhere, even here in Mantiel, we really need it, we desperately need it, we need liberation, and it starts here right now. So uh, the piece I'm going to present to you is called Too Much Black, and uh, it goes like this. Uh, but okay, first of all, I'm going to need a little crowd participation. So when I say too much black and too much love, you have to say forever, okay? So let's try. Too much black and too much love. Forever! Too much black and too much love. Forever! Hi, right, cool. And I need you to clap your hand just up, like, start with full clap. Oh. Yeah. 
This is from my people from all over the globe. I swear it gets no better. Dark as a black hole, light as a blinding sun. Always defying the odds. Beat us to the ground and rise above. I put pretty flowers on the tomb of those who left too short. Sure. Left too cool among the stones in my voice. Gets carried away with the life that escaped from my lungs. When I eat, it's for two, it's for all. I got a high end, so you close your fear. You're far, you're near. The shit really brought me to tears. I love us more than ideas. That's who we are. I see your faces, your mouths, you all. You can't slay that and look how awesome we are. I love us more than anything. Look at the stars seeking God, but we're supreme beings already. And forever, feel alright, get together, cuz. Too much black and too much love. Forever! 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 Okay, I need you to slow it down a little, cuz I need to catch my breath and not, you know. Alright. Okay, so. Yeah. This is from my ladies, my sisters, my siblings, hilarious warriors, vital and gorgeous from North, from North to Nikki to Marshawn is bent on dividing. Nah, man, God is one who hurt and we acting tough. My men stink with the strongest, but really we're not. And we don't give thanks when it's due. Swear it on my life when I'm speaking it's true. I only got one heart, so I give it to you. If today was my last. I'd be happy when I lift off to another place we can restart without the hate, but little in the distrust. Well, this is now. Let's protect black women. Let us hesitate for one moment. I know you tired of loving. No love back. I slip and no slip back. You ever need someone on your shoulder and no questions asked. Too much black and too much love. Forever. Too much black, too much love. Forever. Too much black and too much love. Forever. Too much black, too much love. Alright, and now last verse. Okay, so just bear with me on this one. <laughs> Okay, to all my people, it ain't late to come together Cause too much black and too much love equals forever Despite all the shit that he tell us The hurt in his guys that he spit when he feed us No ain't nigga, just a man with his people on his heart Like a nerd, polo pocket and a pad From people making bank to my folks in a pen It's all love, do it all for yourselves Coming at you straight so you get me all the pain it takes us, create generation that hate us like hurt doves. We fight love, we break up, we live and we die, we smile, experience feelings they don't think we have or ever had. They're asking for much, you hear this, I'm glad I could make it a shine, dissipate the cloud, this is Jiggy's best line, bring it to light. Too much black? <laughs> okay, one last time. Too much black and too much love. Forever. 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 Too much black and too much love. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the love and you guys bear with me in the school. And you know we can do this together. Next up, uh, I'm gonna introduce some very special people on stage for like the five we have like five minutes left. Yes. Great. So I wanna invite uh Strange Fruits. You guys like all about them. Really amazing ladies. We have a two-third of Strange Fruits in here. And uh, they wanna perform a little something for y'all. Alright? Make some noise everybody, thank you. Is this thing on? Oh, there it is. There it is. How y'all doing? It's cold out. Right? We weren't supposed to come to this thing because, you know, these babies are in school and we got jobs and we're like, fuck it, this is important. We gotta be here for this. So before we do a little piece, I have something to say. As an American, because yes, I am an American, I'm also the child of two African immigrants. One thing I've noticed about anti-black racism is that a lot of people like to think it's a U.S. problem. We don't got we don't got racism up here in Canada. We got maple syrup and wiggles and shit. If if Trump gets elected, I'm moving to Canada. Why? <laughs> don't forget the polar bears. The polar bears aren't racists. We'll just move up here. No, guys, no. It's a serious fucking problem up here. We've got indigenous people missing for no goddamn reason. We've got anti-blackness all over this damn country. And then I see people saying, oh, well, you're African, why should you care? It's a US problem. Cops are not gonna check your passport before they shoot your ass, so I'm just telling you right now. Whether you are American, you African, continental, you from the diaspora either way. So this is your problem and it's our problem and we in it together, all right? Can, can I get an agreement on that? Can I get an amen? Okay, we do have a little song. I, I think a few people know it. It goes, dreaming about the motherland. Woo! There it is. Can y'all say that, dreaming about the motherland? Dreaming about the motherland. You know, because people say, you should just go home if you don't like it here. I'm like, 
okay, but this is my home now. My child is my home. I have people to protect here. I got people to protect in the States. I have people to protect in Africa. No matter where I go, I'm st it's still going to be my problem. So I'm going to fix it here. Okay, while people are holding it down in Toronto, we gotta hold it down here in Montreal, all right? So, I'm gonna, you know, copycat. I need to get a little clap going, but it's gonna be a little faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, the motherland, the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, the motherland. You guys, dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, the motherland, the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, dreaming about the motherland, the dreaming about the motherland, the motherland, the motherland. Drifting, but not wishing for some saving. We will find our own path and start walking Till we congregate sisters, sisters and brothers, brothers Islanders, mainlanders, cause we're all Motherlanders Islanders, mainlanders, cause we're all Motherlanders Islanders, Islanders, cause we're all motherlanders. Am I in danger? Feeling like a stranger in this new land. So I stay wandering and I stay pondering the fate in my hands. I need to hold on you as a slave in words. Honey, come on, don't use the slave in words. One more time, y'all. We dreaming about the motherland. We dreaming about the motherland. We dreaming about the motherland. The motherland. The motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. Dreaming about. We can't hear y'all. Dreaming about the motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. The motherland. The motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. Dreaming about the motherland. We dreaming about the motherland. The motherland. The motherland.